being in emergency medicine for the past 26 years and a PA for 30 years, we wear suits of armor. We work in an emergency room where nothing hurts me. I'm going to take care of the next one. What I heard initially alluded to was a debriefing. But after these mass disasters, what happens as far as the mental health of those of us with suits of armor? We have little chinks that hit us every now and then. Was there something that you guys developed or a plan to not only debrief, but also help the healthcare workers who are exposed to all this trauma and noise and crying and craziness to get them to defervesce, to get them to shine up that suit of armor a little bit more? I think you allude to something that's really important because it's in our facility, we were taken care of really well um, by our leadership. And I'm so grateful and so thankful because I didn't realize how injured I was personally. Um, but it's not just us as medical professionals, it's our families, it's our whole community. And, and we have to remember as a group that we have to support each other. I will add to your question, every single person who was working that day got a de facto call from employee assistance um, just to say, we're here with you. If you want to talk, you can come in. If you don't want to talk, that's OK, too. Here are the resources. And I think that really helped a lot. It felt very supportive to the entire team and the entire organization. And it took away a lot of the stigma um, from, from you know, accessing those services.